How long after installing StarCraft until you knew you wanted to be competitive? Uh, I don't have the exact dates, but I got StarCraft and Diablo 1 and Warcraft 2. Uh, no, I had Warcraft 2 already. I got StarCraft and Diablo 1 about the same time. Uh, I played a lot of Diablo 1 and only a little bit of StarCraft 2. I mean Profane StarCraft 1. donated $3. There is no debate around who the GOAT of SC2 is. The five best players in SC2 are parting. Parting, 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 and parting in that order, and if you don't jive with that, then your dicks need a firm spiral on M. He's definitely one of the best Protoss of all time, but probably not even number one on that. I think he'd probably have to go elsewhere for best Protoss of all time. But, uh, how long after I installed StarCraft 1? So StarCraft 1 was installed for a while, and I played it just, like, a little bit. Uh, it was... When I started reading the battle reports, so we could probably pin it down to the what? date. True or false donated $3. Life was the best before he went to prison. I don't believe he actually went to prison, but he, I mean, he was the best player in the world at times. Uh, you only got the notification now? Well, I'm glad you're already here, Teddy. Right? You better have been. Uh, okay, so... Basically, when they started showing the, um, it, there, there was the last Battle.net championship. There were battle reports on Battle.net for it. It's the one that Gur ended up winning over B-Blade Leader. Every day when I got home from school, I hit refresh on that page and read any battle reports that came up. P players like Kane the Feared and Jolly and Crazy Jim Lizard and all these guys. When I was reading those battle reports, that's when I knew that I had to just play the fuck out of StarCraft and be as good as them and so that people would like I was like this is the coolest thing in the whole world that I'm reading a battle report about great players and I want to be in these and I want to, people to talk about me being a great player of this game so that's when yeah Hardcutter made amazing battle reports for sure uh but yeah that's that's uh that's when I knew that I wanted to be competitive and I was I was playing some before and being a little bit competitive, but that's that's when I was like, this is this is fucking sick. Um, it was an early obstacle you face after dedicating serious time into the game. Just fucking getting better, man, was so tough. There was, I mean, the amount of information we have now is a thousand times better. It's not even close. Like trying to get better back then, you it, like there was a point where we didn't even have replays. I mean, it's been a constant struggle. Um, Early obstacle you face after decades of serious time. My mom was a serious obstacle. She uh she thought I had video game addiction after fucking 60 minutes was playing all the shit on EverQuest and how people were addicted to EverQuest and she was certain I was like that. She didn't get it that Korea had a pro scene and I had real goals and shit like that. Um, so that was definitely yeah fuck 60 minutes man. I mean, fuck these clowns that that do this. Uh, so that was, that was a major obstacle for sure. Um, having to make enough money to pay rent and stuff, that was an obstacle. My own mentality was an obstacle. Like there were nights, you know, I played all night basically until I moved to Korea. Like I would play with Koreans specifically and I'd be up all night. And there were nights where I would be sitting there and like, I'd have so many frustrating hard games in a row and then... I, like, I would just fucking cry. <laughs> I would, like, sit in my room and I would just cry and be like, this is too hard. <laughs> Who is most BM famous coordinated $3? Who is the Korean equivalent to Idra or Noniwa or Artosis in terms of BM or being famous at BM? Mm. Famous player, I hope. Uh, I've heard that Percival is kind of bad manner and people don't like him. Like, Dark specifically apparently doesn't like him, but I, I can't verify these claims. Uh, I love Uv was known as very bad manner back in the day. Shiny, yeah, he's been a little bit bad manner, I've heard. Not sure exactly who else. Um, and then, what is one of your sweetest memories in of winning a competitive match? Uh, I mean, 2004, I had a lot of good memories from from achieving goals. Like when I qualified, I've mentioned that before when asked. When I qualified for World Finals, 
was day nine ever BM during the early days? Oh, uh, not really. Jape Surge donated three dollars and thirty three cents. I was watching the RO4 Trap versus Creator with my girlfriend mm -hmm. when Trap's Bylon went down in the second game, and you asked, "I wonder who would do that." I laughed so hard <laughs> I had to pause the match, explain what a Bylon does, and Google an Artosis Pylon. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed. The story about when you got an award for not calling out from work. Well, I mean, it's not much of a story. They, I worked at a retail store. And I went from bagger all the way up to, like, supervisor and stuff. Like, I, I mean, I just, I work hard at whatever the fuck I do. And the... They came up to me one day, they were like, hey, you have the record for never calling out. Like, you just haven't missed any work. In, it was like a huge amount of time. I, I don't remember exactly how much, but it was a huge amount of time. And I was like, really? Yeah, and the next day I fucking called out from work. It was just, it's like a wake-up call. Like, what am I fucking doing? Like, <laughs> 